Hello, family and friends. Today we're going to look at Joshua chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. It says this, And to the Reubenites and Gedites and the half of the Manash, Joshua said, Remember the word that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is providing you a place of rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land that Moses gave you beyond the Jordan. But all the men of valor among you shall pass over armed before your brothers and shall help them, until the Lord gives rest to your brothers as he has to you, and they also take possession of the land that the Lord your God is giving them. Then you shall return to the land of your possession and shall possess it, the land that Moses the servant of the Lord gave you beyond the Jordan toward the sunrise. Amen. You know, here Joshua reminds these mighty men of uh, valor, mighty warriors of the Reubenites and Gedites, the promise that they made with Moses in Numbers uh, 32. The people of Reuben and Gad decided that instead of crossing over the Jordan into the promised land with the rest of the Israelites, they would actually settle in the land of Jazer and Gilead. It says, that they had a very great number of livestock and, and the land that they wanted was the perfect place, perfect land for it. And when Moses challenged them saying, you know, shall your brothers go to the war while you sit here? Um, they actually came back to Moses saying, well, you know, we will make this covenant with you and the rest of the Israelites that uh, they would be armed for the battle and go before, not behind, not, you know, on the side, but actually they would go before the people of Israel, which means that they will be on the front line in all the battles. And they will not return home until uh, everybody receives their inheritance. I mean, if you think about it, it's an incredible picture of commitment and sacrifice. I mean, their fathers disobeyed and didn't trust God, so they weren't allowed to, uh, to inherit the promised land. But these guys were different. You know, though they already got exactly what they needed for their own tribes to grow in numbers and live in prosperity for generations, they committed themselves to be faithful and obedient to God's covenant and to everyone that they travel with in their journey through wilderness. And I'm, I'm, and I'm thinking, what about us? You know, people around us, our family, our friends, our church family, you know, co-workers, neighbors, um, people in our spheres of influence, you know, all are created with divine plans and purposes and destinies. And God has um, covenanted himself to bring them into fruition, to bring them into the promise, and he will never stop until it's fulfilled. In all the ups and downs of our lives, will we commit ourselves to be faithful, um, to journey with those um, you know, around us, believing and sometimes dreaming greater things for them? You know, will we yield to the calling of God to serve others, love others, uh, fight for others, even though it means that we have to sacrifice ourselves? Will we celebrate others' uh, success and upgrades First, even though it means that our own success and upgrades, um, you know, might have to wait a little bit. You know, we must understand that the kingdom of God is always about family. It's not me over the others. It's not me instead of the others. It's not me ahead of the others. It's always about us, and it will it will always be that way. So I want us to like this week look around you. And see who God is calling you to serve and love and fight for um, this week. And, and let us partner with God's divine plans and purposes for, for them. And, and let's see how um, that comes as a blessing to us as well. Amen? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much that you have brought us into your family. Thank you that you have taught us to value your family. And we ask you to highlight uh, people around us this week and, and send us to love them and serve them and fight for them, um, you know, trusting your amazing plans for them. Send us, God, to see them inherit their promises. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you.